day by day as i travel along with you the heavy air becomes lighter to breathe in the crowd you stand out from all the rest did i wonder why and your eyes spoke ocean of things which your mouth resisted you hold beautiful water of emotions even though the surface sees different waves pass by deep down in the sea bed it is dark and the water is still i feel your emotions in there nobody knows you not even you but bit by bit i discover you the waves pave a pathway to explore yourself even if i don't you will always be my favorite place hey guys welcome back to the 4 am talks podcast it has been an amazing week and there is an amazing weekend that you are able to be in here so if you are having any amazing weekend let's be grateful for it so let's start this podcast with a gratitude practice and i think that would be one of the best things to do to be grateful for something that has been happening in our lives and doing that trust me it takes you to places so take a moment take a deep breath and think about one thing that has been the good thing that happened to you today whatever day it is i don't know if you're listening to this on particularly on sunday the day i release my podcast or you listen to it on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday any day just take a deep breath and be grateful for that one thing that happened to you today which you are very grateful for so today i am very grateful that it has been an amazing day and i'm very more grateful for having a friend to whom i can talk about this so this poem is very very important because it talks about a serious relationship now relationship exactly this is all about a girlfriend and a boyfriend so if you're listening to this podcast for the first time i would request you to go back and listen to the previous episodes but if you are listening to this continuously thank you so much for tuning in every day so without any ado let's get into today's topic as you all know daisy has been gone to a far away land to pursue her degree and she is struck between most of the things that could happen to anyone in their life first thing is the academics second thing is a place where you live you're coping up with change and the third thing is your relationships that you're setting with other people so there are a lot of things that's happening in daisy's life and this is very important thing that is happening in daisy's life and this is an amazing poem and it's one of my favorite poems and it's very close to my heart because while i wrote this i actually felt each and every word but you know i just can't dedicate this to anybody so i did get this to daisy so you know daisy could be anybody daisy could be you daisy could be your brother daisy could be your sister daisy could be a cousin you can wonder like why do i always you know say that daisy could be anybody it's because you know if you alter daisy's life it could be you living daisy's life i'm not even kidding just think about it daisy is daisy is living in her hostels but you are living at home so you might be dealing with the same kind of a people even at home and it's not a joke or it's not something that you know what a cry say like unbelievable or something like that because anything and everything is possible in today's world because there are different kinds of people that we counter but we just don't know how to deal or how to react to respond to certain things in life so daisy is in relationship with this one person who is you know not really with her in that place because this is like a kind of like far distance relationship so most of your who are listening to my podcast 
if you are living in a long distance relationship you could possibly understand how it feels even if you don't i think it just takes a matter of a moment for us to put ourselves in those people's shoes to understand how it is really like to live in this kind of a situation right now i am taking the side mostly of daisies so i i am not ta- talking about the person who is on the other side the opposite to daisy and it could be the guy the boyfriend so we are not touching on his part but i will touch on his part as well but towards the end because our protagonist is daisy so i would like to concentrate more on daisy's life now you might wonder why am i being so much you know explaining things out to you like you might wonder why do you always like you know interpretate and tell that what you want to say like you can just go ahead and continue it as a story but i feel that you will have to like do justice to whatever you're doing and to whomever you're dedicating it to so i don't want to bring a misinterpretation in your life because i just now mentioned that daisy could be you so that's the whole reason for me to bring this you know what's the one of the worst things that could possibly happen when you are in a relationship so when you get on to a relationship you know more than a physical intimacy more than anything in a relationship the first thing that comes to play in a long distance relationship is the emotional damages that you carry along with so when you travel along with a person for a very long time so here daisy knows her boyfriend for a very long time she has been traveling along with that particular person for a very long time but she knows him as her best friend but she doesn't really recognize him as a boyfriend because there is a very big difference between being best friends and being a boyfriend because the boundaries are really set differently do you get that point and now most of you would have like had this best friends as your boyfriends some of you would have got married and you probably would be having a lot of children i'm so happy about it but not really everybody gets along with their best friend when they really transform into their boyfriends because they see a totally different person when you are friends with somebody the relationship is different do you think you can behave the way you behave with your best friend to your boyfriend of course not because there's a lot of difference right we set up boundaries in that particular way but there are a lot of things that is going to teach you or it's going to comfort you when you get to know that person so day by day daisy is traveling along with her boyfriend in a long distance relationship initially she feels that you know whatever the changes that's happening in her hostel life she is able to cope up with it because the boyfriend is supporting her that's the whole reason that the heavy air becomes lighter to breathe so she finds that this person is really supporting her and is really helping her because she finds that everybody is just not trying to you know understand that she needs support and she wonders why why do i feel this why doesn't anybody else understand that their support isn't reaching me just imagine that you are in a very far away land okay and you are wanting to talk to somebody and that somebody isn't available to you they are unavailable because they are dealing with something else and we really cannot complain about it right now imagine that i live here and one of my best friend lives in tamil nadu she lives in salem and if she needs any help and she can just ping me but 
I wouldn't actually know what exactly support does she need. So she feels, Daisy feels that, you know, his eyes spoke oceans of things, which his mouth resisted. Now, there is an irony here. The irony is she's realizing that this person is actually helping her, helping her. But at the same time, she's sensing a distance. You hold beautiful water of emotions. And now here is the irony. You know, water, you can never hold water because it just flows. Have you ever tried holding water? This is what we have heard this many times in our school. They would ask us when they teach us about solid, liquid and gas. They would be like, can you really hold liquids? Definitely not. And imagine you have emotions that are like water. Even though the surface sees different waves pass by. You know, she's realizing that the waves, there's an ocean and there's a wave. Daisy feels that the ocean contains a lot of other emotions, but the waves, the mouth and whatever the person is trying to say is totally different. Deep down in the seabed, it is dark. Yeah, this is the irony of life. When we feel that a person is so alive and they are trying to help you, they are trying to do so many things. When you realize the truth in a minute, you would just feel so, you just would want to snap at them and tell them how you feel bad about it. And that's what is happening here. And the water is still. Can you believe that ocean waters become still but here the water becomes still because she is seeing something else and that is very unbelievable to her i feel your emotions in there and now daisy is trying to sympathize with you and empathize with your emotions if you are in there nobody knows you not even you but bit by bit i discover you the waves pave a pathway to explore yourself. She's finding that even that person needs help just like her because they are going through the same thing in a different wave and there's a lot of differences in this relationship. Even if I don't, you will be my favorite place. And this is where the love comes into play. Can you ever hate a person whom you loved once? Definitely not. You know, I don't understand when people talk bad about other people or they try to, you know, let the other person down. Sometimes this is all because I feel that your love turns into something else. It becomes a toxic love. It becomes a poisonous love. And... You know, you don't really recognize who that person is and that's what is happening to Daisy. You know, when you are in a relationship with that person, you need to understand that person as a raw, naked person. In a sense, I'm not trying to say anything in terms of physical intimacy, but this is with regard to emotional. You need to see that person emotionally raw because it's going to be very different when you start living a life with them that's why most of the relationships fail you meet them for one day and you think that oh my god they are actually cool but dude they are not actually really cool if you discover their real really really deep down emotions that's been buried like in a grave there would be emotions that are decaying. There would be emotions that are in the form of skeleton. They are, there would be emotions that is just been put in into the coffin and just made, you know, a memorial for them. 
So there's a lot of things to discover for you. And why I, I want to bring this episode to you is because I thought that you know today that is a very big trend of having a boyfriend having a girlfriend and there's a lot of other stuff that's really fascinating to today's generation but most of us are not picking up i mean i'm not trying to you know generalize it or normalize it but i want to say that there are a few people who are actually thinking a lot before they fall into a relationship but at the same time we just forget sometimes our boundaries we just sometimes forget who that person could be and we really do the stuffs and i really want to share a real life incident that happened in one of my friend's life so one of my friend you know right now they are living a happy relationship but this friend fell in love with this dude because they listened to one of their favorite artists that is a music band and i don't want to mention any much of information on this but it was very disappointing for me to see that and i'm like how can you fall in love with a person who has just as the same music taste as you because you no know, everybody conceives music in a different way and this is so ridiculous it's ridiculously wrong i feel because you are failing to understand that person that's the whole reason i wanted to bring this episode to you right now if you are in a dilemma i would tell you that you know first try understanding your best friend as a boyfriend try understanding what are their needs what are their desires what do they love what do they don't love you know friendship and relationships are two different things they people have different personas and we really need to you know understand this and we need to really go for it only if we like that persona of our best friends boyfriend the person of boyfriend this episode is very simple i just don't want to drag it i just don't want to do anything but all i felt is that before you take any decision think before you do that and that's really important and daisy is feeling the same so daisy is not understanding what's happening in her life because she recognized something that's totally different and she's feeling absurd about it she just doesn't know how to react or respond to it if you want to know what she does about this relationship you'll have to wait until the next episode because it's going to be about that so until then keep waiting and keep spreading love and i hope you have an amazing week ahead and i hope you are having an amazing weekend i hope you get all the rest in the world physically mentally spiritually and i hope you're able to start a new week with a fresh mindset with a new beginning with a new spiritual mindset to grow and expand your love with that being said i'll see you in the next episode until then bye and take care